Excuse me, you. Yes, you. Are you doing anything important right now? Any duties? No. Perfect. I need someone to talk to while I do this. Would you be caring to join me in my quarters? And assist me with a task? Of course. Well, they're really saying no to your commander, right? <laughs> Come here. There you are. <laughs> What's your sign number? 8248. <laughs> I'm sorry, not personal. You know, with the whole mind wide, by it's kind of more efficient to give you all numbers than names. You all have your little names you call each other, of course. But your designation number works better for me, you know. There can be 20 Johns and Anns and whatever you want to call yourself. Kersins, Marsas, <laughs> you know. But you're a 248 to me. I'm sorry, it's a little impersonal, you know. <laughs> I'm just a bit upset. Um, I was on that little uh, personal mission to Earth. I ended up picking myself up some newer horde material. Yes, these guns. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see if I can remember what they're called, or at least look at them. Uh, this one is a CZP-10C handgun in 9x19. Pretty neat. It's nifty. It wasn't the most expensive they had. I didn't get anything much on the expensive side on this trip. Hell, normally I don't even pick up modern weapons. Realistically, I haven't picked up any for, uh, well, since the last time I was really on Earth for any amount of time. So, all my stuff's from the 60s and 50s. A lot of military surplus from the time. But... What I have now is some actually new stuff. I've been meaning to get some better additions to my collection. Oh, well, some of these are pretty nifty, even though they're cheap. I got some unique stuff. I got this uh, bolt action rifle here. It's called a Ruger American. And something cool is it uses assault rifle magazines, like the ones the, uh, the AR platforms use. But it's a bolt-action rifle. <laughs> I have a little 10-rounder that it came with here. It's very nice. But it can fit many more. It can fit 20s, 30s, 40s, a drum magazine even, even though that does increase the weight dramatically and reduce its accuracy. <laughs> well, the stability of it. It's still nice. Yeah. And finally, we have this... Oh, I forget the brand name of this one, but I did add some furniture to it. One sec, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Class to my glove and trying to be a bit quiet, you know. This whole weapon care thing is supposed to be relaxing to me. But I can't seem to find the brand on it, but it's a 9mm AR-15. I picked it up recently. This one's actually the most expensive. It's quite nice. Oh, well, what am I doing though? Oh, just some cleaning. 
I always forget some of the noises and fallout seasons. How about I move this right to the side for now? And uh, you just help me clean these. I don't really need to do much tonight. Well, not really a night with us, you know. I'm just giving them a once over with some wipes. You know. Making sure that the uh, natural acids up here are destroying the polymers of the guts. That is one thing I actually was told. Is that the uh, acids we produce may not be so great for these. So I've got to be a bit more tenacious with cleaning these. I'm starting by just rubbing down the outside where I've touched with my bare claws. You know, I'll actually see if I can remove the stock on this real quick. Mm. Well, not a stock. I think where I bought it legally has to be braised, so this weird not stock thing is uh, coming off. I don't even know why they bother with those designations. Just got my gloves on. Mainly just cleaning the carbon out right now. <laughs> Gotta keep this toxic material somewhere else though. <laughs> oh, I know carbon's not toxic to us. But, better to be safe than sorry. And this gun is just filthy. I went out with that little human I transformed. The, uh, transformed into the mint green dragon, uh, 102845. I mean 102845, by the way. Yeah. I was more surprised he turned into a female. <laughs> it's kind of unusual. Only the gender stick, but given he had some magic done on them to uh, ease them more into being a female, I tried a little harder. <laughs> His gloves are gonna be filthy by the end. <laughs> this little rag I'm using is all gonna be filthy. Completely blacked over. <laughs> I should maybe use some smaller patches. I don't have many, and these are meant to go down the barrel, also. But, I <laughs> I'd say the starting once over is pretty much done. I've gotten all the spare grease and other such nasties off this. They don't make the most pleasant noises, but they're neat. <laughs> oh, I love these things. <laughs> Let's clean up the barrel. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, I scrub that car. Luckily, the pistol kit works on this rifle. Well, legally, it's a pistol, according to the law, I swear. Mm, that fucking Kitsune, this little human they transformed are. <sighs> that human upset me, though. They denied my gift. They used it well while they had it, albeit. No, they did report back to me, and they told me what they did. I gave them a, uh, I actually picked up one of those human cell phones just so I could contact them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've pretty much already thrown it away once I found out they went back to being human, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, that's the way it goes, eh? 
they thought they had better things to do. Oh, I mean, technically they did. Being a Kitsune's, well, little pet is kind of rare. I'll give them that. All right. Let's put the unloaded magazine in after I give it a quick once over also. God knows the mag will was dirty. The magazine probably is too. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I'm going to reattach the brace. And I'll hand it to you and you can go put it on that rack over there. Right. Could you... I'm going to hand this to you. Could you go put it on that rack that says AR9? Yeah, in the uh, white text. Thank you. Alright, cool. I appreciate that. If you want to stick around, I can't necessarily pet you right now, but... I won't be able to in a few minutes. I have to... do the handgun next. Such a messy little frame. Huh. And for this one, I'm gonna do a white on the uh, stick. Oh, yeah, no, these little human gun cleaning kits are kind of hard to come by for us, so I've kind of got scraps to use, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, yeah, it turns out finding these things for the uh, sizes and calibers I use is kind of hard, so I've been negligent on picking up any real pistol caliber ones. Because, well, I make it abundantly clear that uh, rifle I use, the one with the, uh, I'm just going to remove my gloves while I attach this. The guns that I generally bring in when we do conquering are large caliber weapons. And uh, I'll just use a smaller patch and rub this one. Yes, its frame needs some cleaning. Yeah, very much so. Lots of carbon in here. <laughs> and you like the sounds. That's good. If you want, I could, uh, head down to the apartment and acquire you as, the. Uh, assistant firearms cleaner. You won't always be with me, but I'm sure you can find some joy in this, eh? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> oh, I don't blame you. This is actually quite relaxing, but now my claws are covered in a uh, black material. I don't want them to be covered in <laughs> Oh, this carbon stuff. Huh, but carbon and sulfur go together on Earth, apparently. Yeah, why don't I just... Yes, the, the recoil spring on the pistol and guide rod. Yep, just basically make sure everything functions. Give the guide rod a bit of a tightening. And last but not least, give the barrel a bit of a once for. 
I'm actually gonna just take this cloth I have here for the barrel. It's already a bit dirty. And just wipe the uh, the barrel on it. <laughs> you know, might as well make do with the resources you have. <laughs> Much better. I'm gonna put a bigger rag on this though. I do need a bigger rag to clean the barrel. This one isn't as bad, but it's still nice to have a uh, nice clean gun. <laughs> I do go out and shoot on these. I've even Oh, already nice and clean. I'm barely getting any carbon on this. Hmm. Mm, yes, I'm just lubricating the actual firearm real quick. Gonna wipe some lube on the uh, tracks so it moves better. I need to get this human creation called Loctite. Yes. <laughs> it does. Oop. Drop the recoil spring for a second. And. Perfect. <laughs> I think I can put my gloves back on now. My fingers aren't going to be a bit dirty. Mm. Oh my. <laughs> I've been around the humans too much. <laughs> I have to be, you know, dressed up as one and such. I have to wear my big mage robe instead of my lovely spacesuit like you see here. Mm Uh, that would be my one complaint about this pistol. This screw up front, you see it here. This little one right below the, uh, the barrel. The guide rod. It doesn't stay still. During firing, sometimes it'll start scrolling out, which is why I need that Loctite I mentioned. But generally you can just press your fingers against it and rotate it counterclockwise and it'll stay in. You know, I think I've actually just unscrewed it. <laughs> well, I'm looking at a cute little dragon, okay? No, there's no mirrors. I am talking about you. <laughs> oh, don't be so bashful. You're adorable. Oh, you... <laughs> hey, 248. You are absolutely adorable looking. I love how you look. Don't doubt yourself. <laughs> uh, I'm in a bit of trouble. Mm. Oil rag. Mm. Ah, yes. Cheap, shitty human polymers. Huh. Tell you what. We may be inter intergalactically declared evil, but God, human quality awful when it comes to their products but their weapons of war top tier now their cleaning kits for their weapons of war on the other hand uh, well, looks like I'm going to be going in on both ends on this one oh well I'll just 
I must have got the cleaning kit parts mixed up. Oh, no, I, I actually didn't buy these. Uh, actually, one sec. I'm going to be working on the rifle. issue there. Mm. Mm. Well, looks like this one only gets a cosmetic clean. Oh, I, when I took these gun cleaning supplies from Kurzman. Yes, the Kitsune. I must have grabbed the wrong tip for the cleaning supplies. Mm, yes. So, I believe what happened is I took his pistol cleaning kit, which has been working fine up until now when I reached his, uh, supplies usefulness. Uh, I'm cleaning a rifle now. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not too big of a deal. Yeah, his supplies are cheap. Mediocre. He claims to be rich, but I swear he's not. Because. Mm -hmm. Odd noises. Well, keeping the ventilation up right now is important. I don't need to inhale any of this carbon based smog that cleaning can produce. Just. Lubing the uh, bolt up for this rifle. <laughs> Gotta make sure it dries too. I'll probably get a bit of this in a lubricant in the mag well too, so the mags rock in a bit easier. I don't know if that's true, but I feel like it's something humans would do to improve the usefulness of the gun. Plus, oh, it'll wipe down. Shan't be hurting the rifle. <laughs> yes, rather unfortunate, but eh, it happens. Plus, wiping down the side of this grimy earth rifle that I've fired a fair few times at some human locations would help. Yes, I brought the little Human dragon. Oh, I forget their number already. Normally I'm so good, but I'm lost in my own ends right now. Talking to you and such. Yes, I think it's sad they didn't decide to join up, but test the issue with humans, free will and all. Wait, this real quick. Much smoother. Oh, the other ones I needed to clean, but this one I really did just need to lube up a bit. <laughs> Ever since I gave it its initial wipe down, I think I took away some of the important greases used for operating the bolt. So now this is much smoother. <laughs> Perfect. Ah, yes. <laughs> Alright, magazine it. Could you take this rifle over to the rack ri labeled... What did I label it? Sorry, I gotta look over there. Uh, ranch rifle. You take this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, now that the chores are done, is there anything you need? Let me move closer. <laughs> 
I've got to make sure my little dragons are happy. <laughs> oh, luckily, I can just curl that away real quick. All the carbon. <laughs> Make a sulfur based life form. It's so easy. What's that? Oh, you're a bit tired from all this cleaning. Oh, makes sense, though. It's rather relaxing, isn't it? <laughs> Gonna have to put in the data reports on those to make sure I keep everything in the clear on the uh, data for those, given their cleaning dates, how effective it was that the American didn't receive a barrel cleaning and needs that carbon removed. The pistol was exceptionally clean, and the carbine had a nice clean bolt face. Data entries aside, I know what I did. Is there anything you need, little one? <laughs> oh, some, some kisses. Sure. <laughs> oh, I know I can be strict sometimes, but when I'm running with over 10,000 of you guys in my big commander's spaceship, it gets a little stressful, you know. I've basically got a whole human community running around in here where the beings. Oh no, I get it. <laughs> it's stressful being a Venusian dragon too, I get it. Our lives and our own unique little stressors that we have to compensate and act on. <laughs> I get it. I mean, I did take you away from your own life. Albeit you agreed to this. <sighs> Even I'm tired from that gun cleaning. <laughs> Come here. To dodge my breath. It's just an exhale. I won't injure you tonight. I know, I know. The first thing you remember is a mouthful of my dangerously spicy fumes. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I understand sometimes you have bad memories, but it's alright. It's all right. You're all individually perfect little dragons with your cute little wings, your twisted beautiful horns, your either tan tone or black tone horns and claws. You're all individually and technically my children. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. You're perfect just the way you are. <laughs> mm. So wait, Dufori. <laughs> How's it been going on the ship? Business as usual. Nothing exciting. Oh, glad to hear it. <laughs> I was afraid something happened while I was on Earth for so long. Well, not very long at all. Hmm. Oh, I'm sure I'll hop back down sometime soon. Probably within the week or two. But I gotta take a week off up here. I gotta get back into the rhythm of things. Make sure nothing went wrong somewhere else in the ship. Yeah, you know. How long have you been here? Judging you're in the 8,000 series, 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, back over in Andromeda. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know so few of you came aboard and joined, but 
the few of you that did, I have been enjoying your loyalty. Hard people to break, yours, but you make a perfect little dragon. Strong, lots of loyalty. And still so small. You're only, f mm, I believe. I'm gonna use Earth measurements since we're still in their orbit. Four eight. <laughs> Jeez, I really am tired. I think after we're done talking, I'm going to go down and take a sleep. <laughs> So, if that's all, hey, can I give you a little bite so you can go to bed a bit easier? Sure. <laughs> Feeling a bit woos. Perfect. If you wish. Because you've been such a help to me with my tools. <laughs> You're free to sleep with me in my chambers tonight. Yeah, I, I know it's not something I do very often, if at all. But, <clears throat> to be honest, I'm a bit broken up over the human going back to being a human so soon. I thought they'd give it a couple years of being a dragon, and uh, not even 48 hours, not even 48 hours, back to being a human, so boring, so dull. Yeah, it's just disappointing, you know. I, th I thought I had them, you know, I told them I'd get them the cure, and I did, but I just withheld it a bit so they could trying out, but <sighs> I just went down to their Kitsune and had it removed with his magic. I just wanted them to try it, you know. <laughs> like I said, they called me up and they told me they actually managed to uh, hypnotize and control the Kitsune a bit. They had their plentiful fun with him. <laughs> he probably doesn't even know what happened. <laughs> oh, that's what I love about us. No matter how cute we are, we're all, we're all sneaky, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, you know it. <laughs> <sighs> Come, little one. I think we should head to my quarters. If you could stay here for just a second and put all this back on its shelf while I go get my room ready. Be presentable. I uh, have some things I need to pick up off the ground in there. Yes. Yes. Whatever you want tonight. Anything. That sounds fun. <laughs> oh, experimenting with that. I did pick up that new material on Earth. Yeah, from that one creature. It's awful, but it's fun to use. You want to try some? Oh, no, it's not a drink. It's a, uh, oil. <laughs> no, it's very interesting how it works. I'll explain more when we're in there. And I'll let you decide if you want to try it. I got it from some creature. He was very kind. So obedient. Didn't want to be a dragon, though. I respected his wishes, you know. Not everyone should be a dragon, regardless. Not sure how his biology would mix with it. With that specialness to his body. Mm, not for everyone. Anyways, you... Uh, put this little kid away. Put the oils back in their correct places. I'll go clean up. Ready up in the bathroom. And 
we can have a night of fun. Be right back.